Allison Berry and I work for Lullabot and I'm one of the trainers we have here on Drupalize Me. And today we're going to be looking at Drush and trying to figure out um, what exactly Drush is and why you want to use it. The first thing we'll look at is the word itself to help give us a clue about what it is. It's a combination of two words, Drupal, and then the other word is shell. And when you combine those two, you end up with Drush. Now a shell is a way to provide a command line interface for your computer or server that lets you give text commands to accomplish tasks rather than using a user interface by clicking around with a mouse. And so that's what the Drupal shell is doing, giving us a command line interface for Drupal. You can find the project on drupal.org at drupal.org slash project slash drush. And when you get there, you're going to notice that it's not actually a module that you download and install inside of your Drupal site. Because this is providing a command line interface, this is a project you actually need to download and install on your computer or server. In the next video in this series, we'll be looking at all of the steps that are involved and all of the things that you should know about installing Drush. When you're looking at the project page on drupal.org, uh, there's a whole lot of information about the people who worked on it and what Drush is. And there's also a link to uh, a whole site that's dedicated just to Drush information, drush.ws. Uh, and there's a link there. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. It uh, takes you immediately to a list of all the, the Drush commands per version, but let's look at the About tab to get more of an overview. This just gives you a, a succinct list sort of of the kinds of things that Drush can do for you. So you can do project management as in Drupal projects, so uh, downloading and enabling modules and themes. Uh, you can run cron and clear your cache on your site, and you can also run SQL commands directly onto your Drupal database from the command line. So let's actually look at some examples of this. I'm not going to walk through step by step because uh, we'll be doing that in future videos, but just to give you an idea of what Drush can do and how it works. So this is my terminal. I'm at a command line. I'm also I'm currently inside of a Drupal 7 installation, so I have a Drupal 7 site installed. And if I do a, a Drush status um, on this site, you'll see I get a whole bunch of information about this site. So these are all the things that Drush knows about it. Um, I can see the version of Drupal I'm running, 7.2. I can also see the version of Drush that I'm currently using. Um, probably one of the most common tasks that people use Drush for is to download new modules onto their Drupal site. So I'm going to download Views, Devel, and Path Auto modules, very common modules. Um, and by typing that command, uh, Drush goes and gets the latest versions of the Drupal 7 modules for those. And now if I were to go into my site's modules directory, uh, you'll see I have those modules downloaded and ready to use on my site just that quickly. So you can see how much faster and easier that is than going to the drupal.org, finding the modules, clicking the download, make sure I put them in the right directory. Drush handles all of that for me. Okay, so let's uh, go back to the browser here, and uh, let's go back to the Drush project page on Drupal.org. Because um, there's another one other aspect uh, about Drush I just wanted to uh, go over real quickly, is that other modules can also add Drush commands. So when you get Drush, you have some basic set of commands, but then other modules can also add commands. And uh, there's quite a number of modules that do this. And so here we're looking at the uh, Drupal.org um, modules uh, listing page uh, on all the ca all the modules that are in the category of Drush. Um, and so you can see there's some really nice handy stuff like Devel, Backup and Migrate, Views Bulk Operations, great module, also has Drush commands. So you can do a lot of tasks directly from the command line rather than having to use a user interface all the time. And this list goes on, you can uh, scroll through and look at these um, and get to know them. In future videos, we'll also be talking about some of the more popular uh, contributed modules that are integrated with Drush and how you can use those commands as well. So I'm really excited about this series because Drush is a very powerful tool that lets you get things done very quickly and it has rapidly become a standard tool in every Drupal site builder's kit. Uh, so it's, it's one worth 
knowing, even if you aren't very familiar with the command line or very comfortable with it. Um, this series we're going to start off with showing you how to install and set up Drush to begin with on your computer. And then we'll start out very slowly at the beginning covering basic commands on how to do things like download and enable modules and run some basic Drush commands and get comfortable. And even if that's all you ever end up doing, you'll save yourself so much time. Um, by using Drush. It's a great tool and I'm looking forward to the series and I hope you are too. Me.